Well, we got the upgrade today for the Pro 2100 Peep Brothers anemometer wind vane. It is much more sensitive than the old one was. The old one took a four or five mile per hour threshold. This one, as you can, might possibly be able to see, is running a half mile per hour. Up on the weather picture, it shows one mile per hour. And we're just giving an indoor drive around. We've got the cups on it, the vane assembled. Tomorrow it goes into operation. So we will give you a update on that. That'll be coming up next in this video and you'll see how things are working. So I'm up here on the roof at the house at the weather station in New Cumberstown and working on the new outdoor sensors for the Pete Brothers. Little accident. Pete Brothers has you stick this fin, the back part right there, where my finger is, right there, on it until it snaps. You hear it snap, lock into place inside of the shaft. Um, sometime, I don't know when, and it wasn't by any fault of my own, I'm sure, that thing broke. So I had to take some of the epoxy glue that they supplied. You can see it right there, and I had to glue that on there and do a balancing act up here on the roof for a good 10 to 15 minutes. Hold that fin in place while it dried. And let me tell you, I just did a 325 to 350 mile round trip sightseeing tour today across central and southern Ohio. I would have much rather been back in the car than holding that up there. And I've just seen something that's kind of interesting. Don't see if you can see them or not. I don't know if you can see them or not. There's a whole bunch of off in that direction a bunch of bats the whole world's gone batty I'm telling you all right wish me luck i'm going to put this up where it belongs right there after i take a deep breath well finally after long last the pete brothers 2100 has received an upgrade the black set of cups and the wind vane on top of the post are the upgrade kit we put those up yesterday on saturday seem to be working pretty good along with our heath kit just below it and it uh, is fairly sensitive to the breezes it um, is a nice outfit you get the upgrade kit for the 2100 pro and you not only get the outdoor one sensors and direction but you also get an indoor uh, a brand new um, display unit for barometer and temperature and all that good stuff so right there it is it's um we've received a 12 mile an hour wind on it so far and we've got some scattered showers and thunderstorms developing east of i-71 and east of U.S. Route 23 in Ohio right now. Numerous ones, in fact. Uh, if we were to look... Oops. Well, I zoomed in accidentally, but there you go. is a closer look at it. But if we were to look to the north, you would see... Not much, really. And to the east. But there are some heavy thunderstorms up in the New Philadelphia area right now. So, again, we've got it up there, we've got it working, it's reading winds just fine. Uh, total height above ground level is approximately, I'm thinking, around 25 feet. I'll show you how sensitive this is. The Heath kit does pretty good at picking up the lightest of breezes. Now it's down to zero. But if anything under 0.5 miles per hour, like 0.4, it registers zero. 0.8 and now it registers one so if you were to ask me do I think it would be worth uh, getting an upgrade uh, I would say yes you've seen the entire video that I've put together putting it up on the roof the issue I had with the fin on the wind vane so and I don't know why this thing is not wanting to focus but um, 
Okay, I'm going to shut it off because of the focusing issue.